Hi guys! Please let me know if you can hear me all right. I hope you guys are having a nice Tuesday. We're going to be playing Banjo-Kazooie today and I am so excited because it's one of my favorite games ever. So it's gonna be a blast. Yep, you guys can hear me? Okay, so let's get started, yay! <laughs> So are you guys fans of Banjo-Kazooie? Is this a Banjo-Kazooie crew? I hope so. <laughs> Yay! Okay, hi guys! How is your night going tonight? Hopefully well. We're gonna try to get as far as I can in this. Um, I've been playing this game literally my entire video game playing life. Um, yeah, it's... It's one of my favorites. What, Richard? You've never played it? <gasps> ah, that hurts. Okay, we have to make sure that you uh, try it eventually. I really like how Gruntilda rhymes and everything that she says. I've looked up like all of her different, um, I guess, blurbs of like what she says or dialogue. There we go, <laughs> dialogue um, throughout the game, and it's just really cleverly done. Toxic Teddy, you don't know why you're excited? You're excited because it's Banjo-Kazooie! I am so excited as well. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah, I hope we get a remake. Me too. Have you guys seen the whole thing? Um, I think it was like on Twitter, but it was like banjo Redoey, And it's like, we need another Banjo. Especially since it's in Smash. Um, I'm hoping that Nintendo's able to team up with Rare again for this game. Uh, Sebastian, how did I feel about Shovel Knight being an assist trophy? I think that's awesome. Um, being able to participate in Smash in general is really, really cool. So um, I was excited about it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it must have taken so long. I know, I always appreciate great copy because like personally, like I write copy for my job. So I just like, I can imagine like the rare team just like high-fiving each other as like they're writing it. And it's great. I don't know. Everything about this game is fantastic. <laughs> Richard, you're an Ocarina guy. That is okay. Ocarina of Time is still one of the best games, like, ever. So it's a good game to play. I love a lot of games on the Nintendo 64. It was my first console, so therefore it's, like, my favorite. And, yeah, like, some of my favorite games, like Banjo-Kazooie, which we're playing, Paper Mario, um, like, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. There's so many good games on this. Oh, really? One of the reasons that they bought Rare was to get Donkey Kong? Um, well, I don't think, since it's an IP owned by Nintendo, I don't think they were selling the IP, so they wouldn't have gotten it regardless, I think. I don't know. I, I'm not super duper informed about, like, the deal that happened for that. There's probably a YouTube video out there. Opinions on nuts and bolts. Well, hmm. <laughs> I think, um, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Banjo and Smash, yeah, I, it's that's awesome. I remember seeing this YouTube video where this kid found out about uh, Banjo Kazooie being in Smash, and he streamed a video of him playing, and he's like, "I'm playing the Baron Bird game," and I'm just like, "Oh my heart!" <laughs> Banjo Kazooie GTA crossover, Toxic Teddy, that sounds nuts. I'm. Um, Banjo's a nice guy, so instead of like doing usual GTA stuff, I'd imagine that he'd just go around helping people. So it would basically be a Banjo 3E. Your favorite game is the guy with the shovel. Um, that is awesome, my friend. I like him too. <laughs> Wait, Ace, is it froze on your end? Um, can you guys let me know if anything is frozen? I Just let me know and I'll see if I can adjust something. He says, if it is just you, maybe um, refresh your screen and see what happens. Let's see. Oh, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Oh my gosh, Stone Fox. <laughs> Mildly accurate description. <laughs> so you're playing Ocarina of Time for the 3DS for the first time. It hasn't aged well. What? Really? It hasn't aged well? I haven't played the 3DS one, but I've done plenty of rerun, like, replaythroughs through Ocarina of Time, and I thought it was really, like, still great. Like, sure, the, like, polygon graphics, you know, if you're playing on, like, an HGTV, like, there's no anti-aliasing, so, like, the polygons look a lot harsher, but 
you know, I feel like nostalgia just adds to the anti-aliasing as it is. So it's cool. Um, hello from Argentina. Hello. Welcome. Have I heard of Celeste? Yes, I have. Celeste is really fun. It's also very difficult. Um, like, I'm, I'm pretty decent at playing video games. Like, I'm okay. But, like, I had a hard time with Celeste. But then again, I had a hard time with Super Meat Boy. So it's kind of in the same realm. <laughs> Let's see, favorite banjo character. Ooh, okay, well, I really like, ooh, there's a few. I really like Kazooie. Um, I really like the carrots in this game. <laughs> I also like the crab guy. I don't know their names, but like, you know the crab guy in Treasure Trove Cove? And he just like does his little clippy thing. I think he's pretty cool. Wait, Silent, you had no idea that Yacht Club Games had a Twitch channel. Yes, we do. We also have a YouTube channel, which we're streaming on as well. I'm... Um, did I agree to learning all? I, I was not paying attention. Did I learn, agree to learn everything? Yeah, I did. Darn it. Usually I just skip it and just head straight to the lair, but I guess not this time because I wasn't paying attention. Whoops and doodle. Yeah, we have, we have, um, we stream, uh, uh, silent, we stream every Tuesday at six o'clock Pacific Standard Time or PDT, depending if it's, okay. Yay. Yeah, depending if I'm, it's like, you know, daylight savings or not. There we go. Let's see, you like the Spectre guy more, Bread Loaf? That's cool. I really like Cake Knight and I also really like Plague Knight. Um, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I really appreciate it. What's my favorite Shovel Knight crossover? Oh my gosh, we've done a lot and they're all really cool. Um, I'm kind of biased because I'm a huge banjo kazooie fan. So, like, ukulele was pretty cool. I was really excited to see Shovel Knight in that. Let's see. You'll be, like, you'll be sure to tune in. Awesome. Thank you. We take turns streaming as a team. I, it's kind of one of those things of, like, whoever wants to. But, yeah, we all really enjoy streaming. So, it's more of, like, who volunteers. I volunteered Whoa. tonight. <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm doing all right. Playing some banjo. Heck yeah, I am. <laughs> is this like one of your faves? Yes, it is. <laughs> Do you like it as well? I have very complicated feelings about Banjo-Kazooie, but for the most uh -huh. part, I would say I'm a fan. Okay, um, that's concerning. What are complicated feelings? Can you elaborate? Um... Well, with, with some of the other people at the office, I've been going through the process of playing the other rare 3D platformers. Mm -hmm. And so it's difficult for me to appreciate Banjo-Kazooie as a single isolated game after having experienced the horror that is Banjo-Tooie and Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so Banjo-Tooie, though it is a um, cluster rather than a collectathon, um, it has its good points. Like, it's not... Not like no no we're not gonna get into this we're here to celebrate banjo kazooie one and nothing else <laughs> fair enough fair enough but uh to defend banjo tooie because i have to um ledge grabbing that was the best part of the whole game <laughs> oh man yeah no, i i really like this and also dk64 yeah i agree it is a conundrum dude we we started that game like virtually when the pandemic hit i would just stream it uh -huh. um like over in the discord and people would like hop in and it took from then until like a month ago playing like weekly to beat that game well at least you it, beat it's it it's just <laughs> like a grind of like no zero fun <laughs> <laughs> honestly i feel that um I, I used to have a rule when I was a kid to 100% all of my games and then like and then I could get a new one and like that's the only way I could get a new one and um, yeah I got uh, I got uh, Donkey Kong 64 and that killed it for me so <laughs> I basically was like just kidding I'm um yeah I'm not gonna do that anymore so I feel Are you playing this on is this like rare replay uh sure we can go with that <laughs> Oh. oh, secrets. <laughs> Interesting. Fancy, fancy. What's your favorite level in Banjo Kazooie? Oh man, my favorite level in Banjo Kazooie. I mean, 
<laughs> There's something to love about each of them, I think. Mm -hmm. They're all laid out in a very simple but easy to understand structure. They're all like a single arena and they all do a really good job of having a big focal point that lets you like orient yourself and know mm -hmm. where the hell you are. Like they're all pretty basic and they're all like pretty well constructed and it's hard to pick a favorite. Um, I love Mad Monster Mansion mm -hmm. just because I love spooky stuff. Uh, Gobi's Valley, I have a lot of really fond memories of like me, my brother, and my dad trying to clear it. Freeze Easy Peak is just like a good time, no mm -hmm. matter, like every time someone plays this game for the first time, they have some fun there. Um, Treasure Trove Cove has a lot of really cool moments, like being in the water and having the shark chase you and having the music kick in, mm -hmm. like getting to the top of the mountain and having it get all quiet and weird. Yeah. And the fact that you don't have to take that warp up there. If you just like burn 20 feathers, they let you just like fly up there. That's mm -hmm. like such a fun discovery. I agree. Um, Mumbo's Mountain ain't got a lot going on for it. Gotta be honest. <laughs> what else is in that game? It's, it's a tutorial. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely the first level. Yeah, you're missing uh, Click Clock Woods, which has People like... People love Click Clock Wood, but I think it's maybe a little bit too easy to get lost in the weeds there. Okay. Or like to mess something up. If you don't do it all in one sitting, then you're like kind of screwed because you can save the game and come back. And it's like, well, first you got to go to spring and like unlock the boulder. Then you got to go to... Oh, yeah, ball, huh? Talk to the beaver. Then you, it's like... So it's a little it, fetch questy, but it's, it's just difficult to to understand what it's actually asking. I think, and what it's asking is a level that's like four times as long as the ones that you're used to. Fair enough. How do you feel about Clanker's Cavern? Clanker's Cavern uh, is one of the most impactful, like first openings to a level. It's like the scariest shit. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> just go through that tunnel and see that giant, like, gourd whale. It's like so weird. Yeah, it's a little traumatic. Like, <laughs> I always felt bad for Clanker because he was like all trapped, and you kind of like let him go up for air, and that's like the one thing he wanted. The it's sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> I think the, the conceit of that level, though, has, like, so much fun in it. Mm -hmm. Like, they really delivered on, like, you're going in and out of this large creature. You have to, like, enter and exit it through, like, the gills, through the teeth. The blowhole is a platform that, like, mm -hmm. launches you up somewhere else. It's, like, a it's a really involved idea that I think works well, and I'm glad they attempted it. Me too. Um, one level I do not like is Rusty Bucket, Rusty Bucket Big Bay. Bay. I don't think anyone liked it. It was a cruel <laughs> joke. They're like, we're going to make all of the levels like really fun and engaging and rewarding. And um, then we're going to throw in this because we hate you. <laughs> Rusty Bucket Bay doesn't have a lot of stuff that's like super cool and surprising to see. Mm -hmm. Like it's the return of that shark. It's like the, the return of like a level where you have to like swim through the water, but now it's like poison. There's nothing like really exciting about it that you, you're there to experience. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why it's like kind of not memorable. And then on top of that, it has some moments that are like genuinely infuriating. Oh there's yeah. Like, there's like 10 <laughs> tiny rooms you have to go through that are all like little holes in the ship and they all look the same. So it's really hard to know like which one you're missing. And then sometimes it's an enemy and it just wants to kill you. Yep. So yeah, yeah I remember and that. There's also a moment um, that just really, really sucks. There's that room where there's those turbines, and you gotta like. Oh yeah. Them down, <laughs> and then you go across, and it's like a decent little platforming challenge. But the thing about Banjo Kazooie is that when I die, I lose all my notes, and I have to like go into each of those tiny rooms again, and it's like. Uh, a lot of work. I think they changed that in the remix. Though, oh, right? really? I I yeah. do not so if know. You're playing, if you're playing on like Xbox Live Arcade or Ray Replay or whatever, then when you die, you save the notes. But in the original game, that was like a big, big, big hurdle that you just like hit a wall because you stop the turbines, you go get the jiggy, but then if you don't do it fast enough, they pick up again. Mm -hmm. So if you're not like wise to its antics that room will definitely kill you. And it's also pretty hard to get to because you have to unlock it in one place and then enter from another. So it's extremely <laughs> likely that you'll be playing that level for like over an hour. You'll have gotten so much stuff. Then you'll finally get into that room and it will kill you. And it's just, yeah. that's just a big bummer. And if we're doing that like 
last because I got everything and then I was like, okay, I can finally die in peace. Like, this is the end. And right. so I'd get That's that and just do. die. <laughs> like, oh. Or you like save it. You do it first. You're like, before I go to anything, I'm <laughs> doing that gosh darn room. Um, I remember using cheats. Like, when you go in um, Treasure Trove Cove's little castle thing. Oh, yeah. And like, do you, doing, uh, what was it? Uh, give the bear lots of air and like a bunch of the other ones. To, like, Red be able feathers, to... <laughs> blue eggs, mm -hmm. uh, wishy washy banjo. <laughs> I don't remember wishy washy banjo. It was a uh, was that a fun? Did you never do that one? No. That's oh, the oh. funnest one of all. Oh, is that the washing machine one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I never did that. I um, I did the the one where you can make banjo's head really big and it's very like obnoxious. <laughs> um, it's a rare classic. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that, but I, I never did that one. Maybe uh, I'll do it. This, this is run. the run. You gotta do it. This I know, time. right? Wait, and, there's one more level, isn't there? That we didn't talk about. Um, What's the last one? Scolby Desert. There's the monster one. At Breezy Peak. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Oh yeah, that's the fun one with the little alligator guy. That one's got a lot of fun. Moments oh, it's so it. cute. I really liked fighting the angry uh, red one. I don't remember their names. I just like called them by their like species do you remember the little the little like chomper guy yeah um what's his name mr vile mr vile there we go yeah he was a huge grumpo the thing i don't like about bubble gloop swamp is that it's not really like one level so much as it is like uh six very small areas it's kind of stitched together randomly there's no there's not like a bot in gobies or in a uh, bubble gloop swamp that you're like thinking about or like uh, moving towards you just like go around the perimeter and like do all the tiny zones yeah fair enough yeah it's, it is broken up but like i feel like the center is the the alligator house is that a house like no, monument he, he's just in like one of the he's just in one of the legs it's like a star and then the center is just like some random nonsense but oh. like what you're doing is you're going to each like point in the star and just like clearing it out fair enough yeah. I'm trying to think. What was your favorite transformation? Um, well, they're all kind of the same, aren't they? <laughs> <gasps> Hurtful! <laughs> they are not the same. The bee, you they can fly. Are. The alligator guy, you can chomp on stuff. All right, all right, all right. Let's run through it. Okay. The termite, you're small and you don't have your attacks. Yes. What's <laughs> next? Uh, wait, you don't get anything in Treasure Trove Cove. You don't get anything in Clanker's Cavern. Bubble Gloop Swamp. You're small, and you have, like, one kind of useless attack. No, you... It, it, chomping like, not is not useless. Ability. Chomping is victory. It's useless. <laughs> Crazy Easy Peak. You turn into a walrus. You're small, and you don't have your attacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see where I'm going with this? <laughs> Mad Monster Mansion. You're a pumpkin. You're small, and you can fit through small doors, but you have no attacks. But you can jump. Uh, Rusty Bucket Bay doesn't have anything. Click Clock Wood is the only one where I was like, whoa, this is actually different. Um, I wish you got stingers. Fly around. Like in a... But... Go ahead. Oh, I, I wish you got stingers. Like in banjo Tui. Is that a thing in Tui? Dude, yeah. I don't remember anything about that game. It's blocked out of my brain. Like <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> it's not that bad. You know, you you do stuff and like it adds on to Banjo Kazooie, and it's just really large. You and... say that now. I've been through the horror lately. <laughs> okay, <laughs> lately. Yeah, I haven't beaten that game since I was eleven. Sorry, what'd you say? Um. The, the the bee the bee the click clock wood bee that's that's the coolest one just mm -hmm. because it's like you get to actually do something different in the gameplay um but flying around the level i've kind of already done as kazooie so it's not actually that exciting but at least i have like infinite fly flying flight yeah you get to explore see new things realize that you can't get to those things as a bee <laughs> how fun discovery the and then realizing oh i can't get it that's all of banjo too oh i better come back here as only banjo oh i gotta be only kazooie to step on this pad all right i gotta be banjo yeah. and kazooie to do this part yeah but there's... shannon's right i am traumatized <laughs> your flashbacks not Tui. um <laughs> i was really sad that they didn't make a banjo 3e though because i even joked at it um at the end of banjo 2e 
Yeah, I was so pumped for what would become Nuts and Bolts. That first teaser where it's just like, Banjo is back! Yeah! I that, like a thousand times. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was really bummed when I saw um, what it became. I don't think I've actually played Nuts and Bolts, so I don't even know if like the racing part of it was actually good. I was just so you disappointed. You should play that game with Sean. Sean is like a huge nuts and bolts apologist. He loves. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just feel like I'm gonna be so like angry about not having Banjo Three. Like after all these years, that I, I just wouldn't give it a fair chance to begin with. I mean, you just gotta look on the bright side, right? You gotta be in the mood to celebrate like the big HD return of all these beloved characters. In that context, I think you could have a ton of fun. And, like, honestly, I think Nuts and Bolts is, like, pretty cool. It's just that, like, uh, everyone was expecting something else. And so there's no way not to be disappointed. By yeah, it. fair enough. Um, maybe if they marketed it more as, like, um, I, I don't remember the name of the Banjo-Kazooie racing game for Game Boy Advance. But maybe if they market... Banjo Pilot, right? Banjo Pilots. There you go. Um, yeah, so maybe if they marketed it that way, like it was a sequel to that, it would have been more like received well, but I don't know. Maybe. It, I feel like if you just took Banjo out of there entirely and made like a new world of kooky characters, then I don't know if it would have been a hit, but it would definitely be like, oh, the cult classic from the Xbox 360 era. Everyone's like, gotta play this weird game nuts and bolts. It's so fun. Yeah. Missed opportunity to make the game good. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh. Someone asked me if I think Donkey Kong 64 would be fixed if you could change characters at any point. That would make it easier to play, but it would still be missing the part where there's like a compelling game. So <laughs> I don't know if that would fix it. It would definitely make it like a lot easier to get through and less of a slog. Uh, but fixing it implies making it like, you know, fun. It, and I don't think that would actually make it fun. That's really funny. Yeah, I just felt like, okay, I haven't played Donkey Kong 64 in a long time, but from what I remember of it, I remember the worlds being really cool. It just, yeah, the switching the characters thing was really annoying because I'd go to all these areas and I'd be like, come back as another character. And then doing that like six times was like really annoying. Like if it was two, I feel like I would have gotten through it way easier. But it was a lot. By, by the end of it, like, seeing just some, like, blue bananas we can't get is like, oh, thank God. It's a task that, like, we know how to do. And even though it, like, sucks, <laughs> we can just, like, knock it out. Oh, jeez. It's way better than, like, a BS mini game or, like, navigating the confusing level. It's like, thank God, just some bananas we can go get. <laughs> Fair enough. Did you have a favorite monkey, at least? They're all the same. What? They all do the same No, thing. they don't. Linky has long arms. Uh, chunky. Is his name Chunky? Yeah. Yeah. He's tall and chunky. Here's what uh the cons <laughs> do. You can move around. They all move at the same speed. You can do a punch. They all have the same punch. And you do like a little three hit combo if you hit it three times. You can do a running attack. The running attack has a different animation for all of them, but it's the same attack for all of them. You can take out a gun. They each have a different gun. One shoots grapes, one shoots pineapples, one shoots coconuts, one shoots peanuts. They all work exactly the same. Uh, what, what else? Each one has a completely different instrument. All of them, you just stand on the pad that's that instrument and press the button. It's the same thing. <laughs> like, I know that there's five different characters, but there's not. There's one character. <laughs> Would have you enjoyed it better if there was just only one character? That's, I mean, that's another question that's like, I don't know. That would make it, like, simpler, but would it make it better? I don't think so. The promise of that game is you're going to be five cool Kongs. And so what I want isn't to have it simplified. I don't want to just be one Kong. I, like, I really want to play as five cool Kongs, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I don't feel like I got that experience. I feel I'm like so I sorry. Of that. Did you write letters into Nintendo? Because you could have done that, like... No, and let okay, them know. Well, I didn't play. I never played Donkey Kong 64 or Banjo Tooie as a kid, mm. um, because I had to like save up for that GameCube. You know, I didn't. I couldn't like get those carts, and so I always felt envious. That's why we we're playing it, right? It's like it'd be mm. so fun to go through those other games. You know, I like Banjo Kazooie so much. I'm sure. You know, I bet they're not as good as that. But how bad could it be? <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> 
several months <laughs> the answer to that question. <laughs> so yeah, it just felt like I was being like gaslit lit the entire time. <laughs> it's like I had no idea like how. Uh, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Banjo <laughs> but Banjo's great. Have you played Conquer's Bad Fur Day? No, that's another one. But like, dude, we we can't do another rare platformer for like a long time. I think because you got to be on cooldown for at least like I don't know through like summer 2021. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I I enjoyed Conquer. Um, I need to do a playthrough of it because I don't remember it that well. Like I, last time I played it was in college. Um, but it, I remember it being basically like really graphic Banjo Kazooie. So. Yeah, I had the Oops. the demo of the Xbox version from like a magazine, and it That's was cool. like very it was very confusing to me as a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bet, yeah. Um, when I was a kid, my parents didn't like screen games. Like they were just like, oh, like you know, there's a character on it. Silly likes video games. Cool. Right. <laughs> and for Conkers, um, I used to really, well, I still do. I really like squirrels because I think they're cute. And so my mom's like, oh, a video game with a squirrel on it. Like, Celia will love that. Keep in mind, I'm like in the fourth grade. Um, so I got that game pretty early in my uh, adolescence. Pretty cool times. Pretty cool times. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, my cousin and I used to play it like on mute because we like we were young, but like he's a little bit older. And we was like, you can't let our parents hear this. And like, well, uh, your parents and his. So it was a it was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just cleaning up these jiggies, dude. Yeah, it is a way of life. You're already halfway done with Mumbo's Mountain. Are you gonna do this whole game in one sitting? <laughs> Whoa! I mean, like, I feel like I've done that before, but like with breaks, obviously. Like as a kid, I used to do like my own version of speed runs before I knew what speed running was. So, but it'd be more of like, I would sit and just play the game continuously in like a certain a lot amount of time and see if I could beat it. Yeah. And then I found out about the speedrunning community and they did it way better and way faster. And I was like, oh, okay, just kidding. <laughs> Good It's times. easy to like, to play a lot of this game. Yeah, it's, it's really good. The, the All the fun parts are like right in the middle. So right when you would normally get be getting like fatigued, you're like, but bubble glue swamp, oh, freeze easy peak. Oh my God, Kobe's bell. <laughs> it's like, I'm a walrus. I can't leave when I'm a walrus. Like, that's like. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I came out looking at chat and then being Jinjos. missing stuff. The Jinjos were really cute. I thought it was kind of weird that they like, I don't know if it was weird, but like in Banjo Tooie, when they had like the J like Jinjo King, I was just wondering like where was he when all these Jinjos were missing in this King game? Jingling. Yeah, he was he was over in the Isle of Hags, doing nothing for his people. That's a completely different land. I don't know though. Like it seems pretty close. Like you got there really quickly in Banjo Tooie from this area. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Like, I wonder if he was, like, aware, and he was just, like, kind of, like, eh, you know, like, someone else will save him. They get into weird Jinjo lore a little bit at the end of this game, when, like, the mighty Jinjo Nader shows up. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was, that was a very interesting turn. That, you can see how that idea led to the, <laughs> the creation of so many more Jinjo things in Banjo too. Fair enough. I wonder if they're sitting around in a circle being like, we have a Jinjinator, but like, do we need like a king of it? Like, I don't know. Is the king king just, of that? I think they just love Jinjos <laughs> over at Rare. I'm sure that's like, it's funny to joke about Jinjos there. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. You gotta go be an ant, right? Yeah. Whoops. I need to get the, um, you know, you press Z and like to the left. I need to get that move. The talent trot? That's yes. right there. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, okay. Sweet! <laughs> I thought I had gotten it already, but I didn't, so I was like, okay, I gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, you gotta gun it for the talent trot. That's like, I'm so <laughs> glad they give that to you in the first level. I would say that's like the, probably the core, like, 
<laughs> mechanic in your brain from playing Banjo Kazooie. You probably associate it with like holding Z, pressing Z left, and going harp, 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 harp. <laughs> basically. Yeah, that's the entire game. <laughs> That's like what you remember the most. When I think of like playing Mario, I think about like jumping and hitting a block. When I think about Banjo Kazooie, I think about this. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You just hear it in your dreams. Yeah. Um, let's see. So I am checking the chat. Uh, Waz, yes, I know this game. It's actually one of my favorite games. I haven't played it in a little bit, so I may or may not forget where certain things are. But um, in my entire lifetime, I've played this like countless times. Um, let's see. <laughs> did the giant not for children label not register? Uh, no, it did not. Sound defense. It did not. I think it was the same thing with like anime for my parents. They were like, oh, it's cartoons. You like anime, Celia? Here you go. And so I got introduced to a lot of stuff very early on. Good times, good things. I was generally able to like convince my parents that whatever it was like wasn't so bad. <laughs> same. <laughs> That's funny. It, it would only be an issue if, like, they had heard about it in the news. Or was like, anime like, covered in the news? Uh, or video games? Anime person. Oh, but, sorry. <laughs> like, but there, yeah, there were always like, um, there was always like high-profile games like that, like Grand Theft Auto. Oh yeah, huh? Um, I remember I rented Mass Effect from Blockbuster. Ooh. And then my mom like saw it on the news, and <laughs> she was like. Was that Mass Effect? Was that the game you got from Blockbuster? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, it has like sexual themes. I heard there's a sex scene in there. Is that like some kind of smut game? <laughs> and then she like watched me play it, and I just like am walking around doing boring ass dialogue trees. And she's like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> That's funny. Alec, what yeah, were you? Usually, usually we could like. Me and my brother could, you know, convince her that it was that it was okay. Like, I remember, like before Christmas, I really, really, really wanted Super Smash Bros. Melee. That's the only thing I wanted for Christmas, uh -huh. and I had to like. I I remember like just talking to my mom for like an hour. I made a presentation. I'm like, so I know the last Super Smash Bros. was rated E, and this one is rated T for animated blood, cartoon violence, and like I don't know something else. And I was like, but really, it's not that bad. It's like, it's just like cartoony. It's like, yeah, I know I'm not a teenager yet, but like, I gotta get this game. <laughs> That's so funny. Did the presentation work? Did you get your, your Melee for I Christmas? I got Melee for Christmas, and my life was never, ever the same. It's a wonderful story. It is a good story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah... I'm trying to think if my sister and I ever, like, tried to convince our parents to get stuff. Like, they were kind of, like, we'd just ask for stuff, like, for birthday or, like, Hanukkah or something. And, like, that would be it. So we'd, like, math out, like, what we wanted. Right. <laughs> yeah. But, like, they were just like, okay. But then again, they didn't pay attention to the news or, like, anything. So they'd just be like, yeah, okay. Cartoons. That seems cool. Oh well. If it was ever like a a game that I really needed and I know we couldn't get, then I would like get it from somebody else at school. Ooh. I had like a hookup on the playground, and that's how I got like an illicit copy of like Halo and like uh, Grand Theft Auto Three. <laughs> that's awesome. Resident Evil 4 was another one of those, and I'm like, I can't let them like see, I can't let my mom see me play this game because. Like, you get, like, beheaded in it, like, constantly, and it's, like, gory and stuff. And th at the time, that was, like, a huge, huge deal, mm -hmm. I remember. And so I could only play it, like, at night with, like, the lights off, like, after everyone had already gone to sleep, which is, like, a great context to be playing a spooky game as a kid anyways. So I think it worked out. But yeah, she never, my mom never found out that I was playing Resident Evil 4 on my GameCube after dark. <laughs> That's so funny. I miss those times of like trying to hide playing video games at night because I remember my parents would be like oh you have to go to sleep now and I'd be like okay so like I'd turn off the TV but the Nintendo would be obviously on <laughs> I'd be like don't notice that or like my Game Boy would be like under my pillow if like plan A failed yeah that's a classic one yeah the, the handheld under the sheets 
I remember being really excited when the Game Boy SP came out because it had a backlight or front light or whatever. You didn't have one of those weird worm lights? Yeah, <laughs> but like, it like worked kind of because like we got it from a friend who didn't want it anymore because it was defective. So it was like a dim, sad light. Or maybe that's just how it was and I'm just remembering it <laughs> wrongly. <laughs> it might have been that that's just how it was. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, I gotta go, but I'm so glad I got to see a little bit of Banjo Tooie. Yeah, thank you so much Good for luck. tuning in. <laughs> we can talk more about Banjo Tooie yeah, later. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, hi guys. Okay, I can pay attention to chat now because I can multitask, but then when it's like two, th like three things, and it's like get start to get crazy. Okay, so what I was trying to do is I was trying to get the little honeycomb like thing inside the mountain, but I was really bad at aiming it, so it wasn't really working out. Um, so that's. Whoops. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Oh, hi, Waz. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> Welcome to my banter. Oh, you've been in the chat. Sorry. Welcome to chat, voice yeah. chat. Yay. <laughs> I just saw that Alec had to leave, so I figured I'd jump in there. Sweet. I've been answering chat, yeah. Oh, hey thank you so much. I've been talking and I've been reading everything. Do you think that ukulele lived at the banjo as a successor? That's a really big question. That is. I think I think I am not the biggest banjo fan. So <gasps> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a weird counter point to this game. Why, why aren't you the biggest Banjo fan? Because uh, I think a lot of the fun from this game gets like delayed when you have to do a bunch of stuff I don't want to do. There's like, a, there's like a lot of stuff that I like doing in this game, and there's a lot of stuff I don't like doing in this game. And it's a weird uh, blend. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Like, I... The whole like becoming different creatures is, is really not exciting. Um, it's more boring than anything. I also like when you when you can't find that last note and you're just oh, scouring yeah. over every aspect or everything and then it's like, oh, it's because it's you know, it's in that ship level and like you had to turn the camera in this this specific way during like when you're inside the room. Oh, you know you go in those side those rooms in the ship level? I forget what yeah. it's called. The, yeah, um, on the deck, yeah. Yeah, and it's like there's one that's like hidden out of a camera shot. Not like not like out of gameplay, like I, I didn't have to like go somewhere, I just had like move the camera over there and i would see that note that like that kind of stuff like just drives me nuts but fair enough that, no yeah that's there's really really nitpicky i guess i i think overall this game's cool um and does some some fun stuff i think that ukulele also did some cool stuff but uh yeah just like the level of uh, of gameplay i think is better here although yeah. i heard that the impossible layer is like really good People are like, oh, you got hit. Yeah. The only problem no, with, almost. like, the little enemy, like, being a little guy is that you can't attack back. And yeah. That's... I mean, that's what makes it interesting, right? Like, limitations are cool. <laughs> being scared in smalls. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, but... <laughs> that's cool. Like, I mean, that's, like, that's... Otherwise, it'd be, like, the same. True. But... That's, like, the... Those are the transformation... transformations that are kind of interesting. Like, the ant kind of works because you're, like... Oh, you can go on surfaces now that are, um, you know, a standard or whatever. But I kind of wish there was just like more organic. Like this is like the ant section, but like if you could use the ant over somewhere else and like get do yeah. something else, that'd be cooler. I don't know. It's just like execution, but that's cool. You got the honeycomb. That was good. Yeah, that was nice. I was trying to get it earlier, and then I forgot that it's way easier just to get it um, as the ant instead of just aimlessly jumping and hoping. <laughs> Well, or you can use uh, Kazooie, right? That yeah. Run for yeah. Yeah, but you still slip, so you have to like drop down correctly. Oh, and yeah, yeah. I didn't remember where exactly you had to drop down, so I was just jumping and hoping for the best, and yeah. it wasn't working. Yeah, I, I just feel like Banjo needs like really like utilize their things a lot more. Mm -hmm. But that's cool. It's, it's a fun game. This is especially at the beginning. It's a very exciting game. Beginning. Yeah. Also, the music's really pretty in this game. Oh, yeah. I'll, like, listen to the soundtrack for funsies. And it's cool. I was telling Shannon that uh, during lunchtime, I discovered that they have uh, Banjo-Kazooie trap music. 
but <laughs> <laughs> like remixes of it. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I was excited <laughs> about that. So I was like, today we're playing Banjo Kazooie because of lunchtime, and I was listening to it. So that's how I make my life decisions. Uh, so yeah. I love I love Mona from Shovel Knight. She's really cute. Do you agree? Yes. Yes, Mona's best girl. We need we oh, we do need plushes of her. Should be great. Uh, that's a termite. Oops. Oh right, right, night. Not an ant. Termite. <laughs> yeah, was it's a termite. <laughs> Who cares? Get with it, dude. You can tell me the difference between a termite and an ant. I'll I'll back off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Was did you play a lot of N64? I did. <gasps> what, I played mostly mm -hmm. Mario 64. Good and choice. I would play that game over and over again. I would get 120 stars mm -hmm. on each of the files. Um and then delete my data and start over. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I played that game a lot. <laughs> and yeah. then eventually I started to try to like hunt down the uh, internet urban legends mm -hmm. and like unlock uh luigi in the game yeah which you it... totally can't do but it exists the l is real <laughs> yeah yep i was pretty dumb but no i did the same thing i used to um once i found about like cheats you could do on the game boy like manually I, like, would try to do cheats on my Nintendo 64, and a majority of everything that people talked about was, like, not possible. But I believed. <laughs> yeah. How do you believe? I love the little dance he does. Let's see. Oops. Oh, I have 100 notes, too. <laughs> um, okay, I'm done with this level. Oh, no, I'm not. I need to become um, a termite. Or ant, again. Cardia's best girl. Oh yeah, Cardia's definitely up there. Yeah, Mario 64 is really good. Um, hey, Code. What's up? Remember hearing that Yoshi was at the top of the castle and being like, I don't know about that one. Yeah, and then he is. And yeah! Like, was he but there then, the whole time? I know, what was he doing? Like, was he hungry? Like, did he bring snacks? Like, there's so many questions <laughs> that I have. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Toxic Teddy, to answer your question, um, I didn't know that like that existed. Interesting. <laughs> A banjo talking crow. Oh, okay. Dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's gonna make it on your Christmas list this year. <laughs> oh boy, I want eight of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would they all be different poses, or just like for different places around your house? Um. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. I was gonna be like, no, all the same. Uh, but yeah, different poses. That sounds way more fun. <laughs> Don't look it up. Okay, I will not. Was will look it up. Anyways. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Pew said, "I feel that like for to unlock Goku by shooting all the names in Super Smash." Wait. Oh my gosh, there was a rumor that you could do that. That's cool. That sounds like someone just made it up. Um, I remember reading in Super Smash that you could um, unlock Master Hand. Like, you could, like, be him. If I, I forgot what you do. It was, like, beat everything on hard. Like, oh, the hardest yeah. difficulty like with every single character. And I was like, I could do that. So, like, I got kind of okay, like, on, with all the characters. So, that was cool. But also, yeah, it didn't work. And it was very rude. So... Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah. What's like the first one of the I guess like the one of the first ones probably like Mortal Kombat you can play is uh um the Shang Sun, the the guy in the background. Um which like persisted in so hard that they like made him a character in like a, a preview in that, a follow up game, right? Oh, it's really cool. I was about to say cute and cool, so I said cool. <laughs> Sticking to cool. it. Cool. That's like <laughs> I, I don't have that information in my brain. Let me make sure I'm not totally just making something up. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Hank says, thank you so much for Shovel Knight. Um, you are welcome. Thank you so much for playing our games. We appreciate you, Hank. Let's see. 
Uh, Mr. said, I remember once my friend told me that you can unlock Banjo and Mario Kart by entering the Konami code. Oh man, that would have been so cool. Like, that would have been awesome. But Banjo was in Diddy Kong Racing. And fun fact, Diddy Kong Racing came out before Banjo-Kazooie. Um, I don't know if it was supposed to come out around the, like the same time, but I know that Banjo-Kazooie got pushed back for them to work on it longer. And um, yeah, so it was like a little promo thing. I remember as a kid writing down all of everything Brentilda said, because uh, <laughs> um, at the end of the game, there's a reason you have to know it. And so, like, I had a booklet. Like, before I realized oh, I could just right, go on the yeah. internet and, like, sure. Google it. <laughs> so I'd be, like, attentive and, like, have to talk to her five times. Good times. <laughs> um, okay, Steve asks, how's our remote development? Um, going pretty well. Um, like, when I joined the team, um, we, like, were, like, literally, like, once I agreed to work here, like, we all went remote. So, uh, from my point of view, things are going great. <laughs> Since I don't know, it's, like... The difference from being in the office. <laughs> Let's see. So it was Conquer. Yes, you are correct. Um, I remember secretly, ho not secretly hoping, very vocally hoping that the other characters would have their own games and like later Nintendo 64 titles, um, but they didn't. I really liked Tip Top and I really liked Pipsy. Um, <laughs> those are my two. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> They're great characters. They're small and cute. Um, yeah, I really, I really like Diddy Kong Racing. I feel like there's Mario Kart people, and then there's Diddy Kong Racing people, and then just well, everyone. A lot of no, okay. There's, there's tons of overlap. I don't know. Well, like their favorite, and then they're like the Wave Race people that just hangs out with everyone. <laughs> but, like, but like for your number one like racing game, it's either Diddy Kong or. Or Mario. Yeah, I guess if you have to choose, mm -hmm. there's, there's definitely like sides to take there. But I don't know. I uh, <laughs> I like both. I just wish they would continue with the uh, if they if they had continued with um, Diddy Kong. I wish they did. Didn't they make like a Game Boy Advance game for that too? Or I might be thinking of Banjo Pilot Wings again. Well, I mean, it's not as big as like, you know. Mario Kart. I just wish it was like as, as Me strong. Me too. Okay. I am trying to find info on the thing I said. Did you find I don't it? Think I can. <gasps> no. It's like. Did you get a Mandela effect? What? Like the Mandela no, effect? No, where... no, no. It's not that. I just, I'm just, if there's like a ton of information and there's like, like a lot, of, like it's a current game, so it's like. Oh, yeah, the scroll through all of it, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Um... Banjo for Pokemon. I agree. I think he'd be, would he be a Pokemon or would he be a Pokemon master? Things to think about. about to go into clinker's cavern this used to stress me out as a kid so maybe i should do treasure trove instead no you get stressed out yeah crash team racing is the king wow i mean i like whoa racing a lot it's good it's actually really good but i don't know if it's the best. because it's just like exactly Mario Kart. <laughs> you should let crash team <laughs> racing know that well, they should. They probably know it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, Diddy Kong Racing was a DS thing? Okay, cool. Okay, I didn't make that up. It was on DS as well. Sweet. One thing I really liked about Banjo Kazooie is like all the like fun places you could explore. Like, just the world just kept on opening up more and more. And that was really fun. I mean, yeah, you explore the hub world and, like, things that you didn't think were going to be levels were just levels. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Joe Taro and Dio for Smash. <laughs> That's funny. Pressy. Cool. 
guess we're gonna go to bubble gloop next sweet let's see love in the world says worse video games always bring people together entertain thousands yeah no i agree hank like video games are awesome because not only are they an art form but they're really fun entertainment as well what does grunty need all these words for anyway what do you mean by words like the notes the reason that you collect notes is because grunty sent like or made um, musical door spells so you can't get through her lair I don't know why she would do that to begin with because like no one had challenged her before Banjo so I guess it was just like a paranoia or like precaution but yeah that's why you collect the notes <laughs> do I have a video game character crush Ooh, that's a good question is it old, old snake is it old no <laughs> no it's not old snake <laughs> it's not old snake um I'm trying to think Hmm. Are you sure it's not Old Snake? I mean, it can be now. Answer. I, answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He just like seemed like a grumpy guy to me. So I was like, eh. Grumpo <laughs> McGee over here. Oh, I'm trying to think. Like, who did, who did I like? Like, maybe, maybe Link? I don't know. You had a Christian Link? I, like, I felt like he, I thought he was cute. Ocarina of Time Link. Older Link. That's a boy. He's that's that's weird. What? He's eighteen. He's like seven. Well, I was also seven when I played the game. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, G. No, but Link. No, like when Link, like an Ocarina of Time, he gets older and he's teen Link, and he's cool. Oh, oh, oh. adult Link. You're yeah. Adult Link. Nah. Yeah. But also, I was like little seven little when I played. No, no, not nah. Oh God. <laughs> I just like unsubscribe for this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Was this quiet compared to uh, Celia? Oh, it's, it's probably the, all the mixing settings and stuff. Ah, uh, shoot! I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I'll just be really loud. Yeah. Wow, that's your... pretty cute. Yeah, Cloud. Which Cloud are we talking? Final Fantasy VII Cloud, like when he's a blocky guy, or, or, or remake? Cloud. Oh, or or any of the other 500 iterations of Cloud. <laughs> yeah. Of Cloud. Kingdom Advent Hearts Cloud. Cloud. Yeah. Advent Children Cloud. It's like Kingdom Hearts Cloud is a good one. And a remake. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of other video game characters I like. I don't know. Mm. How about you? Any any particular oh, faves? Do I have a, a crush on a video game character? Or had one? I'm assuming it was like when you were a kid. When I was, when I was a kid, I was super into Monster Rancher. Oh my gosh. All, all the pixie monsters were really cute. <laughs> 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 because they were in bikinis and I was like 13. <laughs> hey. Oh shoot. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. Have you any of you seen Final Fantasy VII Advent Children? Yes, I think that is literally the the movie that I've seen more than any other movie. Wait, really? Um, yeah, because I used to play it in the background. Uh -huh. Um, um, and there was this weird thing with uh, was it Windows Seven or Windows Eight? I forget one one of the Windows. Um, I, I don't know why, but basically, like I think it's my, my my setup. Mm -hmm. If I set my background color to a certain color of black, um, like a not quite black, like a slightly off black, it would, it would like see it as see through, and I could see like video behind that. And so I would, I had video up, and I would minimize it, and then it would just like show up on my desktop. And so I just had like a video playing as my desktop, and so I just like looped. Oh, that's cool. On the, on the desktop while I played everything else, and uh, yeah, music in that in that movie is pretty great. Uh, the, the movie itself is like kind of difficult to watch, but <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, "Really? <laughs> Are you sure?" I know. I Out know. of all the movies, because <laughs> yeah, there's like a, a lot. I had the uh, like a pre-release or like a torrented Japanese version of it. Allegedly, so, yes. I mean, <laughs> allegedly or whatever. <laughs> but then. 
Yeah, I guess I guess a real answer to the crush thing would be Tifa. I liked Tifa way more. Oh yeah, Tifa's pretty. Anything. She was the best. What? No Aerith? What? I know, I know. <laughs> the problem is Aerith sucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, also, hi, Cammy. Welcome. Hey, Cam. What's up? I think, Cammy, you shared your... I think it was you that shared your fan art on the Twitter post that we were going to be streaming. Yeah, Camaluna does a lot of cool... Really cool art. art. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it was definitely you. Yes, I love that so much. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, she did a... Uh, uh, did a... Uh, What's it called? <laughs> um, a banjo and shovel knight uh, crossover. Oh, nice piece. So, uh, yeah, it was really cool. The beans and fall guys is your crush, Toxic Tide. I somewhat doubt that. Is that real? <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's see. Jack or Daxter? Like both of them? As your Atomic crush? <laughs> <laughs> like you're not sure yet? Or Also, Jack and Daxter was a really fun game. Uh, yeah, you're okay. Okay, keep in mind also I played it in like the early 2000s. So I remember thinking it was awesome. No, they're, they're fine. Okay. I don't have anything like really against that game. Uh-huh. Why do you like have like them. why do you have like a hundred page hate blog? I, it's so weird I was. Know. My hate blog is pretty pretty in depth. <laughs> oh, I destroy your speakers? I'm sorry. Um Was, do we know how I can fix that? Yeah. Um can you take a screenshot of your volume settings? Yes, of course. Um actually that that's fine. Wait. What you just did with moving the mic away from your face helped. Oh, oh, that helped? Okay, we're gonna... Am I better now, Cammy? Is, is it better, guys? Please let me know. I don't want to be hurting people's ears. Yeah, if you're... Ideally, the mic audio uh -huh. that you're getting is, is going into the yellows, but not the reds. Okay, Han, I'm looking at the thing. It says that yeah. I'm, I'm not going in... Oh, I am a little bit. Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can click and change yep. this. So, yeah, if you just lower that, you'll be good. Okay, guys, talking. La la la. Is this better? I think so. Okay, cool. Yay! Okay. Sweet. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I really appreciate it. Okay, cool. I remember this was so exciting in the game because you got to fly finally and like bottles kept on making mean comments to um to like yeah because we kept on making mean comments to bottles like whether like she's able to fly or not and it was really funny have i heard of shadow of the colossus <laughs> heck yeah i have shadow of the colossus is amazing i love that like it was like a spooky like like open world like that anything could happen you have to go find the colossals um, fun fact, though, if you play the game and you do not kill any of the Colossi, um, the only other thing you can do in the game is hunt lizards. So it's like Lizard Hunter for the PS2. Oh, definitely. <laughs> did, you ever go to the, did you ever go to the Secret Garden? Um, I did not know that existed until I read about it like on this like online forum. So personally, yeah. I've never gone to it, but I know it exists. Yeah, it's like... It's it's where the ending takes place, so it's not even supposed to be like. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it was intentionally left there mm. or they just like. It was an accident. They just like didn't rectify. But yeah, it's like it's it's where the ending cinematic takes place. Oh, that's <laughs> that's cool. That's why there's like a squirrel and a deer there and stuff. That's cool. <laughs> it is pretty cool. I mean, you can get to it. There's a path to it, so like, that's obviously there on purpose, but. Um, yeah, you, have to, you have to do a bunch of like new game pluses to get there and stuff. That's Unless cool. you do some fancy, some fancy eagle riding. <laughs> better, harder. Hmm. Okay. Lizard hunter better than monster hunter? No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Know. Lizard lizard hunter is pretty bomb. Just saying. <laughs> you get to so catch hard. lizards, gain grip strength. That's it. That's it. Yeah, you do have to like 
it is a it is definitely a new game plus thing. It just seems like to me like they left it in there and then they're like, uh, oh, we should make a way to get to it. And then they like made a path. You know. So it's more like an afterthought? To, I I that's what I think. Because there's like nothing up there. It's just it's just uh um like scenery and there's it's exactly what you see at the ending and, and not much more. But, you know, it's cool. I like that it's there. Yeah. Now I'm like motivated to like actually go find it. <laughs> there's a whole there's a whole YouTube channel devoted to like finding all of the stuff in all the versions of of Shadow of the Colossus and he's the guy spends like so much time on it it's crazy it's it, his life was yeah there's it's cool i mean there's a, there's a there's a hidden dam underneath the geometry that you can kind of get to if you know how to do the this like paragliding thing oh it's cool um yeah it's like leftover geometry that they didn't that they deleted or they didn't like totally delete that one's definitely like not intentional right like un unlike what richard said like that one's like oh shit like you, you, you're supposed to get to like the mm -hmm. other one. This one's like you're not supposed to get to. That's cool that it was found. Do you remember the online rumors that there was like a like a like a last or like secret colossi? Uh, there's Colossus. apparently evidence of like like forty five. <laughs> what? Like, like, like a crazy amount, but um, it's. It's all part of like the development of that game. Oh yeah, they cut a bunch then. They cut a bunch. There was at one point there was like a, a pre-release like map that, that showed a bunch of icons that are not there. You can still like go to a lot of the locations where those colossi were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, there's footage of a few of them, but ultimately that game just seems like it was like mired in development hell for so long and then mm -hmm. eventually they were like well just just cut it to the quick and like release it <laughs> <laughs> fair there's enough a, there's a lot of like there's a lot of just you know leftover stuff in there oh man i want to see the 45 colossi like adventure 20, 25 richard says yeah yeah but how many lizards would have there been if there was 45 <laughs> i'm so curious lizard hunter <laughs> 2 needs to know <laughs> <laughs> No one's asked that question before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that I'm the first. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, I need to, you know, you got to get the important facts. None of that other stuff about the actual What happens game. to the Shovel Knight board game? The Shovel Knight board game is still in production. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Colossus? My favorite is the big giant flying snake. <gasps> I was about to say the snake. That one's really cool. Or I also like... Um, Oh, no, his battle sucks. I like uh, the first one. Like, just the shock of seeing one was, like, really impactful. Definitely. Um, so. The the guy with the big sword is also really cool, but... Mm -hmm. And I have... I have actually have a, a wall-mounted thing of... Or not wall-mounted. I, I have a piece of art about him. But... it's uh, cool. And when I played it most recently, I had this weird bug where, like, the sword wouldn't register. I was like... That, that game has a lot of jank that you gotta work through. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I, felt, I felt the jank this last time. <laughs> Team Eco has a minor reputation for Dead Hill. Yeah, for sure. They like they definitely bite off a lot more than they can chew yeah. usually. Didn't they? Um, like, how long did they work the la like on the Last Guardian for? On the Last Guardian for like more than a console generation. <laughs> <laughs> well, like a ton of time. <laughs> oh, that's, that's job security. They're good. They're fine. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. I think it, like the team dismantled for a while. I don't know. Okay, just kidding. Never mind. Anyways, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof. But yeah, they're. Let's see. I don't know. They're doing it anymore. I doubt anything. Which is yeah. sad because I I liked I liked Eco a lot and I also liked uh, Shadow Colossus a lot and I thought Last Guardian was was okay. <laughs> I like your <laughs> reviews. <laughs> it wasn't I didn't run into like the major issues that I've heard people running into where like you just couldn't get the 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 cat to do what you wanted it to do but um I also like the the interaction of, of interacting with that thing was like not super exciting so mm. at its best it was like okay did I find the lightsaber in eco no I knew I, I there's like oh, all kinds of weird stuff in all those games and I'm yeah I'm aware oh, of the lightsaber. Oh, that's so but... cool. 
Okay, it's kind of cool. I think, if I remember right, it's like not super exciting how they implemented it. <laughs> Waz, don't kill my enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the coolest thing ever. He goes, wow, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Things I get excited. I get excited over everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just like really like, like I remember watching a video of like the, the lore of Ico. Is that how you say it? I've been calling yeah. it Ico my whole life because like, like pronouncing things wrong is my hobby. I so mean, no, I, I think most people say Ico. Ico, okay, but yeah, Ico. <laughs> like I remember reading like the like the theory about how like he was like a sacrifice or something, and that was really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of like implied story, but I think yeah, I don't know. There's there's a lot there to chew on. It's cool. <laughs> Geico. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ico is cool for me because I. That was like the first game I really encountered, encountered like a huge sense of scale because I had uh, this impression of like seeing that title screen a million times. And then you realize that because the title screen is just a panning view of the castle, mm -hmm. but you realize you can like go to every single part of that castle and like you can just feel like, like, the, you, world, like yeah. the world changes, even though it hasn't gone anywhere. So it's really I love that game. I could do a replay of it and Lizard Hunter. Yeah, I'm a little afraid to play Eco again, <laughs> just like because, like my when I played uh, Shadow of the Colossus, my opinion of it went down. No. Um, I know. There's just too much. There's too much jank. It's like really the, the mobility is not good. I remember but... it being seamless. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but anytime you have the platform is like just harrowing. Yeah. Yeah, no. That's okay. Do you have any games that you love to hate? That I love to hate? Mm -hmm. You mean that I love, but I also is like the worst? Or or, or, hate, or just hate. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, like love. <laughs> you love, you but you hate, but you also love. Uh, I think Shadow Colossus is up there. Oh, no. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it, but I, I do love it. I also mm -hmm. like hate parts of it. <laughs> Woodruff. <laughs> um. <laughs> I should remake Eco in the Mario sixty four engine. <laughs> That'd be funny. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, Richard, isn't it cool? Let's see. Why CG needs to make a game with Danny? Who's Danny? Who is Danny? I don't know. I'm just reading. After Shovel Knight Dig, will there be another playable boss campaign poll? No. Don't think so. That was for a Kickstarter. That's cool. Oh, and so like the people that um for the boss campaign, that's how you guys pick the Yes. The main campaign yes. characters? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Is so there any characters we, that you expected to um, be picked that weren't? No, and at the time, I think it makes sense which character they were picked because mm. that was like before the players had played the games. Mm. I think, I think Plague Knight, his level is so hard that I doubt people would have chosen him. Um, and well, uh, but he's in the first half, so I don't know. I think the ones that were chosen were pretty good. Me too. Who's your favorite Order of No Quarter member? Uh, I like Polar Knight and Spectre Knight. It's cool. Yeah. Cool characters. I like Plague Knight and I like King Knight. I like how pompous King Knight is. It's hilarious. Yeah, he's, he's great. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a true jerk. He is. He's such a butt. Like, I remember playing through King of Cards, and like, I know how he turned out. Obviously, like, I play, I played Shovel Knight, but I was just hoping that he would just be good. <laughs> and it didn't happen. Don't spoil the ending. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say much. Much. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, Plague Knight. Plague Knight's awesome. Um, he's a sweet little sensitive boy. <laughs> Can we have a physical Shovel Knight NES cart like that you play on the NES? Definitely oh. not. That game would, like, <laughs> would not run on the NES. <laughs> for like for the very fact that it's widescreen. 
Oh yeah, hi. <laughs> like it eliminates a lot of what can be done. Oh, Pernel, uh, uh, I can't talk right now. <laughs> Propeller Knight is really cool too. He is a cool French guy. Yes, there, there are quite a few people that are very, very uh, attached to Propeller is he Knight. And he's not French. French. He's not French? No. What? He says, no en he says en guard. <laughs> he says en guard. <laughs> yeah, he's not French. <laughs> so he, he's just like a... Okay, you know people who are like obsessed with Japan, like are weebs. So is he <laughs> the French a... version there of is... whatever that is? There is no France in the Shovel Knight world. No, but if there was, would he be? <laughs> <laughs> I think he is a man of fine taste and, <laughs> and appreciates the finer things. I don't know. I don't. I don't. That's like intentionally left blank. <laughs> Fair enough. Cammy says weeb. Oh, weeb. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. <laughs> <laughs> Pokey says propeller knight French weeb confirmed. Okay, I'll just start saying that then. If Is anyone it possible asks. to make art with just the music? Yes, and I've seen it played running upstairs, but. Uh, the music is, is fairly large and you have to use the uh, VRC6 chip modded or emulated carts and uh, it doesn't sound totally the same because there's a level of mastering that happens after the NSF is produced by Jake so um, I'm not sure we'd actually produce something like that but I've seen it done and I've seen it running on an NES and it sounds great that's so cool. Oh, a character I do not like in Banjo Kazooie is Captain Blubber. No, why not? Like, okay, so I feel like it has to do also with Banjo Tooie because, like, you help him out. You're like, hey man, like, I got you. I'll get your treasure. You're gonna do great things. And then, like, <laughs> in Banjo Tooie, you're like, oh, this is where you ended up. What happens in Banjo? I haven't played Banjo Tooie. Oh, That's spoilers. Um, I didn't play as a kid. Yeah, he ends up getting, like, shipwrecked over there. Or he's not, like, shipwrecked, from what I remember, but, like, that's where he, like, stations out. And, like, he didn't go on, a, like, a grand adventure. He just went there. Same with Galby, oh, the oh. the camel. He also mm -hmm. gets into more shit. So it's, like... I fixed all this, and you just gonna make a yeah, mess like, of it. I cleaned up your life, and this is how you, like, what you do <laughs> to, like, I don't know. <laughs> Hell Knight scored fourth place. Did anyone expect otherwise? I mean, I think if the game, if we did a poll now, it'd be way different. But well, if we did a poll after the Shovel Knight release and people played it, um, not after having played those games. Uh, I hate all underwater platforming, like three D platformers. This isn't is platforming. This is swimming. That's why it sucks. Okay, fair enough. But like, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, in the 1064 games, everything. water is just not a good time. I think water works if if it's not a hundred percent change to your mobility. If it's just like a tweak, like I don't know. Nobody says they hate uh, moon levels or space levels when it's just like it changes your gravity a little bit. Yeah. Because like all this doing is changing your gravity, or like the water levels and and make a man you just jump a bit higher but i think i think people just don't like the big giant change that water brings and how it has a big transition in and out and it's like weird, weird rules and the camera doesn't work and like it's bluey and you can't like really see anything really well and like you can't tell where how far away you are yeah there's a lot that like water sucks but i think you could do water levels well Okay, yeah, true. Like, if you take away everything that's wrong with it, then yeah, if you change <laughs> <laughs> Then it's great. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. I, I think also, like, in Banjo-Kazooie, they didn't make, like, swimming through water fun. Like, okay. Well, if you aim it and it's weird, right? Yeah, you can't really, yeah, navigate it. And there's the risk of dying horribly. And you literally <laughs> see a little cutscene of Banjo drowning. And, like, that's pretty horrifying. You should show us the cutscene. You want to see you guys? No, I have, I'm collecting all the notes and I will lose them. 
<laughs> you can see Banjo die in your own time, Waz. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Did you ever wonder what stop and swap is supposed to do? There's a bunch of 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 YouTube videos mm -hmm. on that very subject. And stop and swap would have been so cool. Yeah. There's actually a, a pretty interesting theory that it had to do with um Donkey Kong Country. Because mm -hmm. there's a section where like there's a section in the actual I, I just watched this video a couple weeks ago but in donkey kong country's house that at one point had like a fridge that you would like go into and it's an ice key and there's like some other like correlations there that it later got cut i don't know Lame. so that is one of the ideas is that it would have the stop and swap would have worked with donkey kong country which would kind of make sense because you know same company, but they added it. They added a, a, a like a band aid of stop and swap to the Xbox version. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, so for Donkey Kong Country, but that's on the Super Nintendo, right? So. No, oh no, yeah. No, Donkey Kong Country 64. Sorry. Oh oh, Donkey Kong 64. Oh yes yes okay. Yes yes. yes, yes. Sorry, and that's not country, is it? Donkey Kong 64. There we go. Yeah, because um, initially when they like were working on Banjo Kazooie, like in the very early stages, it was supposed to be a different game, and that was for the SNES. Yeah. So in my head, I was like, "Oh wait, it was that. That would have been cool too." But oh well. Yeah, never materialized. Do any of you shiny hunt on Pokemon? Uh, I have some shinies, but I haven't found them. My favorite Pokemon is Haxorus, and the shiny version of Haxorus is awesome. It's cool. I like Raticate. <laughs> Raticate? Yeah! Gross. What? Why gross? He's you cute. Can, you He's... can have all of them. <laughs> and I will, okay? I'm... Raticate. Raticate's so cute. He's a adorable little toothy boy. And um, yeah, he seems like he'd be a really, really fun buddy. Also, in the original Pokemon games, there was a like a crit, like a critical like speed. It wasn't like a glitch, but it was just kind of how the game like interpreted yeah. stuff. And if you had a high speed, you or like a certain threshold of it, um, you were more likely to have a critical hit. And um, Hyper Fag has a fifty percent chance for critical hits. So when you use that move in the original games, it was always a critical, and you had a high <laughs> speed, so you would attack first, and you could take down like basically every single Pokemon with like a one hit kill. So it was amazing. So don't hate on Raticate. He was a killer. Too, too bad about his face. No, no he's, he's cute. <laughs> uh, why do you think I like Bidoof so much? He has cute little teeth. <laughs> Bidoof sucks. Oh my gosh. It's really funny because, um, so I have a, like a little Bidoof figurine collection. And since we're not in the office, you can't see that. But here is some of them. There's the doofs, yeah. Um, and the thing oh, is, though, wow. is I always, like, I'll pick them up at conventions, like, if I run into it. Because I could go online and just, like, buy them all up on Amazon. But where's the fun in that? So, yeah, I go <laughs> to doof hunting and I find them. <laughs> um, what does the doof become? It evolves um, into, like... A by barrel? You mean, you mean this guy right here? <laughs> I prefer badongas. <laughs> badongas. Um... Yeah, he's a nice little silly guy. Patongus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Badoof doesn't get enough love. Everyone likes to hate him. Also, fun fact, there is a um, Badoof and a Beedrill Twitter bot that if you tweet at them, they'll respond to you by saying Badoof, Badoof. And Beedrill, Beedrill. Yeah, and, and it'll be, no, it'll be like bzzz, like it'll make bee noises. <laughs> <laughs> and like, <Noises. laughs> but like i'll tag them occasionally on twitter and be like thanks i needed to hear that like <laughs> like give away with words i never use twitter but i only use it to talk to those bots <laughs> i think it's Do funny this. it's needed okay uh, i have to do the schlep quest Cyber Shadow is coming along. Yep. Yeah. 
stay tuned. We did a for... story meeting on it last week, and it was really exciting. It's stay... looking really good. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Stay tuned, fall 2020. Oh, Mr. Sandman, thank See you, you later, so much. Sandman. It was really fun hanging out with you. So the whole find the treasure chest thing was really annoying. Because you waste so many feathers. <laughs> I don't like wasting feathers. Okay, let's see. Oh, My yeah, there is. Your RPG one. is. Well. The original Final Fantasy VII was mm -hmm. like mind blowing to me. I think I played that a lot and really, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. So I think that's my answer. But I haven't played a lot of the really, really good ones. I never played Chrono Trigger. Fun fact: or... today's its twentieth, fifth, I think, anniversary of Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Whoa. And today's play it. also Paper Mario's 20th anniversary, but I wanted to pay Banjo-Kazooie, so... <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I've actually never beaten Chrono Trigger. Unfortunately. Fall 2020 for Cyber Shadow. Mm -hmm. And Shovel Knight... Not for Shovel Knight projects. We don't have uh, release dates for those. <laughs> Well, should I get a TV series? God, I hope so. That'd be so cool. It should be a live action one, though. Like the Super Mario Super Show, and like, but it'd be people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm remembering that correctly, be... right? Like there was there was live action in that too, right? Or is that like a weird fever yes, dream no, I had? No, there, definitely. There was definitely... Uh, what's it, Lou Ferrigno was, was in it because I think he's Mario <laughs> is that awesome. his name Lou Ferrigno I think it's like oh, it's all I know so funny yeah but I want that production quality for a live action it should be a reality show whoa that would be cool. <laughs> Tim Curry is Plague Knight. I'm down. No, not Lou Ferrigno. Lou Albano. That's right. I think... What else has he done? <laughs> Kojak, you like how much Mario talked about food in that? It's quite relatable. Relatable oh, yeah. content to subscribe for. Apparently he was a wrestler. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so like he was Mario and he could kick your butt. As <laughs> Mario. <protect>. Whoa. <laughs> I hope one of his wrestling costumes was Mario. Cause that would have been really cool. <laughs> Make a deal with Netflix. Okay. Okay, on it. You guys call them. <laughs> yeah. Let us know how it goes. Okay, I think I need to finally fly up. How are the other mystery Shovel Knight projects going? The other mystery projects that we have going are Ooh. going well. We have not said what they are, but there's two of them we're working on, and they are super, super secret. Um, the other Shovel Knight Dig and Pocket Dungeon are also going well. They're moving along. Things are going well. We could talk about the Shovel Knight games that we're not making, like Shovel Knight Pizza Party. <laughs> like, that could be one. This is such a dangerous conversation. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shovel Knight games we aren't making. <laughs> it's basically just dominoes. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. I kid, I kid. Um, let's see. If we talked about Shovel Knight games that we aren't making long enough, then eventually we'd just be able to determine what we are making. Oh, yeah, huh? Okay, then I, I will not talk about how many pieces what, of pizza you got. Is what canceled? 
Who's well, nothing got canceled? We haven't canceled anything. Shovel Knight Pizza Party is just you know on hold or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a break. We need some time. We ate too much pizza. <laughs> Shovel Knight and Knuckles. <laughs> Shovel Knight. Yeah. Also instant classic. <laughs> So funny. Shovel Knight Racing would be awesome. I like how the music like stops existing once you're this high in the game. It's so jarring. <laughs> Shovel the Colossus. So many spin-offs. <laughs> so little time. Okay, so you played Mario 64 as a kid. Were there any other games that you played for the Nintendo 64? Or was it mainly uh, just Mario? I played Wave Race. Wave Race is played... sick. Yeah, that game's awesome. I played Mario 64, uh, Nintendo 64, let's see. Played Rayman 2. Mm -hmm. That game is really difficult, but fun. Uh, let's see. I played uh, Rogue Squadron, which is like a really cool ship like Star Wars um, dogfighting game. Um, get a license to remake Hotel Mario. Got it. Uh, what other N64 games did I play? Did you ever play Mischief Makers? No. No, I almost bought it. Oh, it's um, so good. I think I went to the store and, and decided between that and Kirby 64, and I got Kirby. Kirby 64 is pretty good, so. It's okay, yeah. It's not Mario 64. I want like I really wanted Mario 64. Uh, yeah, that's just Banjo Kazooie and like Conquer's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> if you want to learn how to cuss. As a kid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was talking. I didn't. I didn't play Star Fox. No. <gasps> you didn't. <gasps> no. Did you play it on no. the Super Nintendo? No. <gasps> I know. I played a little bit, but not like. Oh, it's so good. Um, yeah, I have a lot of Nintendo 64 games. If you ever want to borrow any of those games. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no problem. I also have an emulator. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot that that's a thing. <laughs> Which is funny. <laughs> I, know, I really like physical media. Like I. No, I, I, I agree. I, I still have like all my consoles somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's off camera, but like I have a bookcase like with all my shit like hanging out in there. Good yeah. stuff, good things. Are you playing any games besides Banjo right now? No, no. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, <laughs> Banjo's life. Um, so I made the mental and emotional decision that I'm going to start playing Persona Four, and you're like, Celia, why do you have to make such a weird commitment to yourself? Because it's like over a hundred hour game, and. <laughs> yeah. Like, I have to, like, prepare myself mentally to be addicted to something. Like, pump myself <laughs> up, you know? But yeah, I decided that I'm going to do that. <laughs> Why are you That's laughing cool. at me? <laughs> Just, like, the emotional cost. No, of, it is. Okay. Persona. So, Persona, really like, cool. Persona 5, I clocked in 110 hours in that game. So, like, <laughs> it was a lot of yeah. my life. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Well, yeah. That's really crazy. Hanker, Hanks, Hankster, that's a good idea. Ooh, what Hankster uh, say? He said they want Shovel Knight face masks for That's COVID a really good idea. Um, code, that sounds like a fight happened. <laughs> oh, ah, Chombers is a jerk. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh my God. Uh, I was trying to get away. Oh my gosh. I think I learned what anxiety was once I learned what Chombers was. Get the get the skull. I was trying, but Mr. But Chompo McGee. Out. I like how rare spaced it out, so like you I'm could sorry, think Green. you're gonna make it, and then you didn't. <laughs> so basically, you have the yeah. There we go. No, no, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I have some like deep rooted anxiety with that character. No, why is he over there? He's supposed to be behind me. This game is rude. Okay, we're good, guys. <laughs> we're good. 
I actually don't like the the way he works. He just yeah, like, like, appears out of nowhere. He should be there. Right? He's mean. That's what. And I think rendering. Like he's bored of existing. It just makes him weird. Like I, I don't know. Okay, I have ten notes to find. Where are they? Goodbye, Pokey Horror. Oh, bye, Pokey. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. He just fades out of existing. Yeah, that's... Oh, his name's Snacker. That's what it is. Silly Snacker. Yeah, you can kill the shark, but I don't think I have that item yet. You need the gold feathers, right? The Jinjo under the entrance. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to get 100 notes first, so if Snacker kills me, like, I'm A-OK. -okay. Because I don't know where the last 10 are. Hmm... Hmm. I think I'll fly around or something and try to find him. I don't. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Oh, I know! <laughs> okay, we're gonna play a really dangerous game here. <laughs> um, I really don't like the clam guys. They're mean. <laughs> <laughs> I think you went inside all the treasure chests, though, right? Um. I don't think so. Hold on. I think there's... Aren't, yeah, there's guys over here. So I think there's some notes in one of these. Like, I'm pretty sure there's just random places I skipped. Because I wasn't paying attention either. <laughs> oh, great. Feathers. I'm so glad I found all these feathers. Yeah, like, when we were playing the last level, I was, like, I forgot that I went into, um... I beat Congo already, so I was gonna go beat him again. <laughs> But then <laughs> yeah. I realized I had 10 jiggies, and I was like, oh, JK. Yeah, playing while also streaming is hard. Talking, watching chat, being aware of... Like, oh, you have just five more. Being aware of, like, technical issues. Yeah. I thought this would be easier to play while talking, but it wasn't. You gotta Less really, really learn. know it, yeah. This one's also, like, hard to really, really know, because there's just, like... I feel like so much millions stuff. of bits of things everywhere. <laughs> bits, I like that descriptor word. This <laughs> is bits and junk. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah, I do enjoy the collectathon though. Like the mm -hmm. the gratification you get from getting everything, like hoarder style, is amazing. That stress it <gasps> creates too much stress in my life. That's funny. Really? You guys like the Mother series? Um, I I have played half of Mother Three, and I like it so far. <laughs> I know there's definitely Mother fans on the team. I thought Earthbound was cool. Um, I played five minutes of Mother Three because I brought it on a flight to PAX East, and then my Game Boy died because I had the the translated fan cart or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, then my Game Boy died, so I was like, cool. Oh, I have it right here. Showing off. My SP. Game Boy Advance SP. How is it? Uh, the SP is great. <laughs> oh, no, I meant... <laughs> I mean, I meant Mother 3? Yeah. Mother 3 is great, too. Yeah, it's really good. I just, like, I started playing it, and then I had to stop. Um, and then I never got back to it. I started playing it, actually, during, during Shovel Knight 1's development. Oh, man, it's been and a bit. You should play it. And then let me know I how should, it is. I should, yeah. I should start over. Yeah, everybody says, like, how emotional everything is, and, like, I don't know. There's a lot of spoilers there. <laughs> so I, I should just play it. Yeah, just go play it. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that we never, like, got any more of those type of games. Mothers? Mm hmm Yeah, he said that Mother 4 is real life. <laughs> <laughs> Great. The developer. The developer. <laughs> I forget his name. That's really funny. That's how he just lets things go. There's a fan. There's a fan game. Somebody mentioned it above. Uh, it's called Oddity. That was supposed to be like a Mother Four fan <gasps> game, and apparently think... people like it. But found I my don't. notes. No, sorry, I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> <laughs> I misgaged that one like really far. <laughs> Depth perception rules. Gotta use your shadow. I know. Uh, I just got impatient. I was like really excited. Oh wait, so there's a fan hey, game get, and it's really good. Get the notes. What are you? What are you doing? There, no, there's no notes over here. 
No, the 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 notes on top of the castle. You yeah, just, like, I need missed a, them I need a fly over there. I know. I I missed. Yeah, you? You yeah. Could totally have made it. <sighs> yeah. No. <laughs> I like literally you're supposed to fly over. You're normally supposed to get them, but like before the the waters drained. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Good job. Uh, dig is going well, Mr. Galaxy. Dig is coming along. It looks actually really awesome. We just did a thing recently that I'm really excited about. Whoa, what was that? When you pause it? Uh, you, you know, technical difficulties happen when you pause games occasionally. And, you know. Is it just capturing at 30? What is that? That's no. so weird. Um... Yeah, you know, technology sometimes doesn't. <laughs> That's really bizarre. Uh, no, I hate that it just doesn't give it to you. <laughs> that was your last jiggy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. <laughs> it's a very oh, emotional so moment in my life. He's got to be your first. I don't know. I... Uh, shovel Knight. Shovel I Knight sure love for... swimming in Banjo Kazooie. What if we made a, the TV show and it was like, like all new characters? Like you know how, um, Pokemon. My kid's been watching Pokemon lately. Uh huh. And they just like they like added Jesse and James. And like Misty is like totally different, and wait, Misty's like... totally different. Wait, hold on here. What? Well, like Misty in 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 the game is like not really a character. Oh yeah. They just like took the 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 water gym leader and made her like a full on character. Oh, team up by that. Same with same okay. with Brock and stuff. Like they like totally went off with random characters. Mm -hmm. Um. And like Jesse and James aren't there, and like there's a talking meowth, which is like really weird, but everybody like was just totally fine with it. And like Pikachu, like is a, a new starter Pokemon that exists outside of the po the, like the, the normal three, yeah. round, yeah. Like they they like really really made the show different. Like what if we did that with the the Shovel Knight show? And like yeah, maybe it stars Shovel Knight, but maybe it's like a kid dressed like Shovel Knight or something. Because it's live action. Yeah, or, yeah, because it's live action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did that. Should, yeah, focus the show on the villagers. Yeah. It's just the, the stars, villagers like, being like, oh, great. Go <laughs> can, can the show just be about Percy, but like, it's just Percy in the wild doing oh, things? Yeah. Percy in the wild? That's, that's that sounds the... like a disappointment, Calcifer. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> No one thought the Pokemon show was a disappointment. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's like a Marvel show? Mm. Oh, because like Marvel has like a bunch of characters that are weird. So, <laughs> Shovel Knight's a cyborg. That'd be so cool. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where the last Jiggy is. You don't like the, the Pokemon show? Dude, the Pokemon show is great. Oh yeah, the Pokemon show was really good. My friend and I, um, we did a rewatch of um, of Pokemon, and we logged every single time Ash could have caught a Pokemon that, and he didn't. And it was a lot. Basically, what <laughs> I'm getting at is he sucks. Uh <laughs> Because, like, we were curious, like, if Ash didn't be like, oh, I'm going to let you go, or, hey, Misty, you can have this one, or, like, you know, a random person, <laughs> there you go. Like, how many Pokemon would he actually have? Because to be a Pokemon master, you know, like they literally say in the show, you got to catch them all and you got to buy the merchandise. So, like, he's not actually setting himself up to win. Like, I know he won, like, in the new series or whatever, but he didn't set himself up to win. <laughs> I think the first thing you learn in school is to apply yourself. And he didn't do that, so. In the first episode, they show Ho-Oh. Did, yes. did you know that? Mm -hmm. That was so weird. I thought that was a Firo when I was a kid. Oh. Um, I didn't realize 
so much later that it's actually ho -Oh. um and then they have like a random grid of four pokemon on the back wall when it goes to like the next town mm -hmm. and he's like professor oak i saw this pokemon and professor oak's like oh you did it you're an idiot <laughs> no one's no one's ever seen that people spend their whole lives looking for that pokemon never find it but there's like there's like these birds and then there's also uh a like lightning tiger pokemon that looks maybe like raikou but like not really it's like it's all weird it's, it was like they didn't communicate to the the show runners like what yeah like what which pokemon ones? were real and like what you can't just like make up images no, cause I <laughs> there's know, all kinds of weird like so. i know that they were working on the second game when we got the pokemon series yeah in america yeah i'm not sure maybe there was something planned initially this is, and this is really bizarre <laughs> yeah i'm yeah, I don't know. Pokemon inconsistencies are awesome. Like how in the beginning they had like normal animals too. And then when like Ash got deeper and deeper into his coma, like Oh, did they? What? Yeah, so Wait, what? <laughs> So you know the whole coma theory that Ash is no. in a coma? Oh, oh, whoops. Okay, so someone a long time ago did their college essay or whatever about how their theory it was like a theory on yada 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 psychology or something. Anyways, so yeah. basically what happened was that there's this theory that Ash is actually in a coma and in the first episode of Pokemon, you know, like there's like actual animals. Like you look in the aquarium, there's fish, you know, you look outside, there's cows and Pokemon and yada yada yada. And so basically what happened was when Pikachu shocked all the sparrow it also shocked ash and he went into a coma and the rest of the series is him in a dream <laughs> and that's why he can never win because like once he wins he'll wake up wow and so like no one ages no matter like how long it's been and like that's all why that it's stuff. always the same nurse nurse joy and, and yeah and officer jenny because he's only jenny. seen one so it's his brain like repopulate you know the the person <laughs> That's, so. that's really funny. It's also why, like, no one, there's like no parents or anything because, like, yeah, he only knows only like three. So, oh, weird note. Um, so I did some research. <laughs> speaking of Pokemon, guys, so I did some research of like, do you remember in Pokemon? Um, Gary has like those weird, like, random girls following him around, like, cheering him yeah. on. Yes, he has literal cheerleaders in the first episode. Yeah, and it's like really confusing because it's like, you know, he's like a 10 year old kid. Like, why are these girls yes. following him around and like doing that? Yes. And actually, it turns out because there's like a, a Pokemon, like, I guess, like, there's a, like, a graphic novel, but there's also, uh, made by the creator, like, a light novel for Pokemon. And it turns sure. out that um, Gary's dad is the mayor of the city. And those are the oh. campaign girls that he hired for, uh, like, usually for campaigns. But then they just <laughs> hired them, like, via nepotism <laughs> to... <laughs> the, the campaign girls for yeah. campaigns? So that's what? that's they're why like, they're there. They're like little chillier girls. I know. It's like really creepy. Yeah, it's really creepy, but also like gonna, he's like. I'm gonna run a campaign. And my first hire is these four cheerleaders that are fourteen. <laughs> I don't know. Like <laughs> how like I justify it is like maybe it's like their first part time job, and normally they hand out flyers. <laughs> but then he's like, oh hey, my son's like your age. Like you want to follow him around? You know, pretend to be his friend, share your snacks. Yeah. I don't know. Definitely creepy. Share your snacks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they do. I don't follow their lives. <laughs> and like, I don't know, Gary just like has him and his posse squad while he's mean to Ash, who by the way is a smelly kid in the woods. He doesn't shower. <laughs> nope. I don't know. I have a lot of observations about Pokemon. <laughs> his Wait. mom mentions his dad in like the second episode. Oh really? I didn't realize that. Uh, he's like She's like, oh, you made it to Viridian City so quickly. Your dad will be proud. She doesn't say, like, your dad would be proud. She doesn't say, like, if you had a dad. She's like, your dad will be proud. Yeah, like, your he's... current dad that you have that we never, ever see. It's because he's Giovanni, duh. <laughs> Giovanni, or, yeah, or he's Professor Oak. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever watch the... Okay, another creepy Pokemon fact. Did you ever watch Pokemon Forever, that movie? It was the one with Celebi. No. Okay, so you didn't have to, you didn't have to clarify which movie. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so, are you guys? Is everyone okay with me spoiling Pokemon Forever? Mr. Mime is his dad. <laughs> you know, honestly, kind of. No, Mr. Mime's not a trainer. He can't train. His dad was a trainer when he was a kid. Yeah, and he turned into a mob boss. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, 
It's crazy how things change. I don't know. Like, it just... Why is Giovanni so fixated on this one kid? Why does he let him... Like, I feel like he lets him win. Because, like... Yeah. You know... Like, yeah, he's Yakuza. He could have a gun. Yeah, he could just straight up murder you. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and he, like... Like, he's the town over, you know, Delia, that's his mom's name, um, like, just happened to meet him when they were young, you know. He had a crime <laughs> life, she wanted a family. That's why they can <laughs> afford a nice house. Uh, wow, wow. Anyway, what about spoilers from the movie? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, so basically, no one fought me on it, so I'm gonna tell you guys. So, Pokemon Forever um, is basically this movie where uh, Celebi can travel through time. That's his whole shtick. And, like, the movie starts, yeah. like, 50 years in the past, and, like, the Team Rocket of that time is, like, trying to catch Celebi. Like, oh, no. And, like, they're trying to use their contraptions to control time. And then, like, this, like, little artist boy, like, runs into Celebi and protects him. And then, um, basically what happens is he's protecting Celebi. Celebi, like, transports him, like, to dip out, but, like, didn't realize he was holding him. So he, like, moves them to the future. And that's Ash's timeline. And basically, Ash goes on an adventure with this, like, little kid. And, like, at the end, you know, they save the day, yada, yada, yada. Celebi and him go back in time. And, like, at the end of the movie... Uh, the kid's name is Sam, by the way. Samuel. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And at the end of the movie, like, uh, Ash is talking to Professor Oak. And he's like, oh, you know, like, Professor Oak, like, blah, 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 talking about his adventure. He's like, I'm just... Yeah. And, like, Professor Oak's like, what's wrong? He's like, I'm really going to miss my friend, Sammy. And he was like, no, he said, he said, sorry, he said, I'm really going to miss my friend. Like, I don't think I'm going to see him again. And then Prefer Oak's like, don't worry. Like, I think you'll see Sammy again. Like, it'll, you know, it'll be okay. Like, some friendships yeah. just happen like that. And then after they get off the call, Prefer Oak, uh, sorry. I never said his name was Sam. Yeah. And he's like, I didn't say it was Sam. And then they're like, I guess Oak knows everything. Ha 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 ha. And then, like, Professor Oak goes to his table, because the artist kid drew Pikachu in the movie, and he yeah. opens up his notebook, and there's a drawing of Pikachu, revealing oh, yeah. that, like, <laughs> Professor Oak had this weird nepotism to Ash and neglected his grandson on purpose. So he knew in the future he'd meet a kid, and it would be his favorite. That's why he reserved the, the uber-elite Pikachu. Yeah, I know, right? With the perfect IVs and... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he, like, prepared for Ash? Like, he kept on, like, throwing out Pikachus because he's like, not good enough! Yes, definitely. <laughs> oh my god. those things. Don't get the, no the... To the left, you have to get the Jinjo and the Skull. Yeah, but I'm running out of health. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, some weird professor, like, Professor Oak nepotism going on there. Definitely. I hate to be Gary. Or... Me too. I kind of feel bad for Gary. Like, his, he, all he wants is grandpa's he has... love. That's what he acts yeah, out. He has, he has ten Pokemon badges. I know. Well, Wait, can you get the skull? It's behind it where the ginger It was. is, but I'm going to be the alligator guy because the um, the water hurts me. And I don't feel like dying today. <gasps> okay. So I'm going to be alligator boy, and then I'll make it happen. Nah! See? Eh. Alec was complaining about this level, and now I can't see it differently. Like, I can't Holy see it the thing. same. He was saying that, like, there's, like, no, like, kind of center to this. Like, it's just, like, five different hubs of things oh, to do. Yeah. Like, yep. th there's no unifying piece. And I'm like, oh. Cool. <laughs> and now I'm, like, in my head, I'm like, there's five different hubs. Lord Fartimore, we're on YouTube and Twitch. Mm -hmm. I skipped Clinker's Cavern. Oh no, I skipped that. Maybe intentionally. Y'all will never know. That was definitely an accident. Definitely an accident. <laughs> I hate Clinker's. It's stressful and it's sad. Why can't I jump? There we go. Planet Earth cannot hold that many species of animals. We'd be overrun by Pokemon that are smarter than us. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Have you ever had the conversation, like, what would you do if Pokemon were real? Because you're Pokemon about to real? have it now. Okay, what would you do? Would you become a trainer? Like, would you have your normal job and be an NPC? <laughs> like, I would... Well, here's the thing. Like, they're 10-year-old kids. 
they're obviously not actually doing that without the help of all the adults. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's in on it. And so <laughs> it's like a big, like, it's like a big way to like have kids kind of like become adults, mm -hmm. you know, like the, like the, the rite of passage, but like no one's actually like, like Giovanni's not actually Yakuza and like, you know, these are, it's like a big giant uh, haunted house um, thing for 10 year olds that they get to do for a year. So I think I would perpetuate the lie because, you know, I want the kids to grow up with magic in their lives. But yeah. Do you think Ash <laughs> just took it way too seriously and Delia just doesn't care? She's just like, well, you know, he's been gone for a while, so. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I think the, if those kids are like very monitored. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah, like, I, I always have the theory that's, like, it's, it's a little bit different that I'm, like, being a Pokemon master, like, isn't common at all. Because, like, you think about it, like, when Ash talks to people and he's like, I'm going to be a Pokemon master. That's my impression of him. Anyways. Yeah. And then he just says that 800 times incessantly because he's 10. I'm, like, not many people do that. Like, that's why, like, it's such a big deal. And, like, if you look at all the other kids he fights, like, they don't go travel in the woods. I'm going to die. I'm leaving this. Sorry. Hold on. Um and like like most of the kids he battles them and then they go home to their parents and like that's it so like maybe it's it's just ash being like just a weirdo and being like smelly and sleeping in the woods like i don't know <laughs> he's hallucinating it yeah like yeah. i feel like you know when kids say like oh you're like i'm gonna be an astronaut like are they gonna be an astronaut you know probably not like they're probably not gonna be the president like they're just gonna go do other <laughs> stuff yeah. And I think that's, like, how, like, when they teach kids about Pokemon Masters, that's what they say. And then, like, most of them just don't do that. And usually you would start older, but, you know, get them while they're young, I guess. I don't know. Can't yeah. start, stop training so early. I mean, it's got to be a farce. They can't actually be, like, encountering the, the ancient god that created the universe. Right? Like... <laughs> he's, he's ten. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like... Like, you think back to, like, when you were 10, like, how much worldly knowledge did you have? Like, realistically. Not, not enough to go outside. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. Like, I can barely, like, take care of myself now as an adult. Like, at 10, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. On that tangent, have you ever heard of the TV show Kid Nation? No. <laughs> it's literally that. It's a it was what? a reality show in like the mid two thousands and the reason that they got away with it was that I'm um, wait, time out. Uh bye Hank, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. I'm um, sorry to turn my story. Um Hank was leaving. So anyways, so I'm um, basically Kid <laughs> Nation was this reality show in the mid two thousands, yeah, and they got away with it by saying it was a social experiment and the kids could leave at any time. Like that was their way that like they didn't get sued. They still got sued, but that's for different things. Anyways, okay. so they left 40 kids ranging from ages 6 to, like, I think 13 in this basically, like, fake abandoned town. And they had to cook for themselves. They had to clean. Whoa. They had to kill a chicken. Um, yeah, like, it was, like, Whoa. nuts. And they were basically like, let's see, you know, what happened. Yeah, and, like, I had a my friend told me about this show, like, from, like, Anime Expo. Like, at Anime Expo, he's like, silly, you have to watch this. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> And um, I was like, okay. And like, first thing I did when I got home from the convention was not sleep, but binge the series. And it's horrible. Like, oh my God, like these kids like don't know how to cook. And then they have like these established like team leaders. I just died. Um, they established leaders that they bring in. That's like a kid who's good at spelling. Like there's a beauty pageant queen and like a boy scout. And you'd think the boy scout would be useful, but like he wanted, like he, he did a bunch of stupid things and it's just like children. Oh no. Wow. Wow. So yeah, that's a TV show. So, and then you look at like Pokemon and you're like, yeah, that has to be. Like if you look at Kid Nation, that's like just kids doing kid things and doing horribly <laughs> yeah. on it. Like being a Pokemon master. And, and none of them have giant, giant rock monster snakes or right? lightning powered rodents to, <laughs> or fire to... breathing dragons. Pokemon would totally eat us. Like, they're smart. They're sentient. <laughs> like, they yes. have their own language. So they can, like, speak to each yes. other. Like, they can plan things. Like They're they're playing us. 
Yeah, the Pokemon run the world. The the the, Poke the people just kind of like go through the process of training the Pokemon so that the Pokemon can be smarter and stronger. Yeah, but uh... we're just part of their plan. I know. Uh... <laughs> so funny. Aw, oh, man. Pokemon Pokemon lore goes deep. Did you ever hear <laughs> of the um, the the war theory that the uh, first Pokemon game starts um, like right as like a war was happening or whatever? Like it was like it was like the era <laughs> of peace, and like no. that's why Lieutenant Surge is like my Pokemon saved me in the war, and there's no <laughs> parents because like a lot of people died unfortunately in the war. Oh god. And that's why they're just kind of like, okay, it's like 1950s, like, get out of here, kids, like, go do whatever, come back with the lights are on. That's why, basically, they, they parent their kids like that. <laughs> I don't know. I read it online, and I think it's pretty legit. But think how terrifying mm. that would be, like, you're on a battlefield, and there's, like, a Charizard coming at you, like, I would not be down. No, I think when <clears throat> you are an adult, you aren't supposed to think about Pokemon anymore. <laughs> Well, too As bad. Old, it's the coolest thing ever. It's like, oh, I could like go out and like stay up and eat ice cream for dinner and like have my own adventure. Um, but you know, Dawn, yeah. have a good one. Oh, bye, Dawn. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I appreciate Grim it. Mutt, we are definitely playing. Well, Celia is playing, but I don't know how much longer we're going to be playing. It's almost it's eight o'clock right now. Oh my gosh, it is eight o'clock. That means um, I am done playing for today because I need to eat dinner. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys we can uh we can talk more about pokemon later but um yeah next I, time next time the next episode of yacht club games um okay so guys thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate it um if you want to check out more of our streams we stream every week on tuesday at 6 p.m pdt so check us out then we post about it on our social media pages so make sure to follow us on instagram that's a new account check it out it's yacht club games um what? also yeah, we have an Instagram account. Did you, did you say Instagram? <laughs> yes, I did. Check it out. Whoa, I post things on there. Crazy. And they're all Yacht Club related. So check that out. Also check out <laughs> our <hope> Twitter. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like empty and that's it um <laughs> selfies of you <laughs> oh my gosh okay no but <laughs> okay so also our twitter account and our facebook also if you aren't following our youtube and twitch accounts that you're watching on please make sure to follow that so you get notified when we're live okay well i'm celia and you want to introduce I'm yourself Hi. ladies was um so thank you for joining <laughs> us have a great night make sure to drink plenty of water and get a lot of sleep okay bye <laughs> okay, bye, bye. wear your mask <laughs>